Welcome to Lecture Online. In this example, again, we have a function that is dependent on three variables, x, y, and z. We're going to take the partial derivative with respect to x, then with respect to y, and then with respect to z. Notice we're going to have to use the quotient rule here. First, the partial of the function with respect to x. Take the denominator, x squared plus 2 times z cubed times the derivative of the numerator with respect to x. Since x is a variable, y squared is a constant, this simply becomes y squared minus the numerator, x y squared times the derivative of the denominator with respect to x. Notice this term will go to zero because that's a constant, and here we get 2x as the derivative, and then we take the whole thing and divide it by the, the square of the denominator, x squared plus 2z cubed quantity squared. That's the partial of the function with respect to x. Now the partial of the function with respect to y, notice I drop out the partial derivative, but we should say the partial derivative of the function with respect to y is equal to, we'll take the denominator, x squared plus 2z cubed times the derivative of the numerator. Notice x here will be the constant, y is a variable, that becomes 2x times y minus the numerator, xy squared, times the derivative of the denominator with respect to y. But since this whole thing is a constant, the void of the variable y, the derivative of that is simply 0, all divided by the denominator squared, which is the quantity x squared plus 2z cubed quantity squared, which means this whole term here goes to 0, you can also see that this can be simplified with that. We have this quantity here to the first power, this quantity to the second power, which means this cancels out with one of those. And finally, we can write this as 2xy divided by the quantity x squared plus 2z cubed to the first power. All right. Now let's take the partial derivative of the function with respect to z. We take the denominator x squared plus 2z cubed multiplied times the derivative of the denominator with respect to z. Again, it's the partial derivative, which means x and y squared becomes constants. The derivative of a constant is equal to 0 minus the numerator, x y squared times the derivative of the denominator with respect to z. x squared becomes 0 because that's a constant. And here we get 6 times z to the second power. And the whole thing divided by the denominator squared, which is x squared plus 2z cubed quantity squared. So this goes to 0. And if we then simplify that, this is equal to minus 6xy squared z squared, all divided by x squared plus 2z cubed quantity squared. And that's the partial derivative of the function with respect to z. There's the partial derivative of the function with respect to y, and here's the partial derivative of the function with respect to x. And that's how it's done.